Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Good Tuesday morning and you want to keep the umbrella closed as the rain chance does stay high today through tomorrow due to tropical moisture that could produce some downpours and even some localized flooding. Now there's a change though as we head towards the end of the week. Once Fiona continues to push away to the north and east and we see drier air move in, that'll lower our rain chances just in time for your weekend, about 20 to 30 percent chance of rain. And our next radar network has been relatively quiet in Broward and Dave except for some isolated showers. There has been some rain, though, moving across the lower keys near Kujo Key. Now is a quiet, cloudy view here from our Miami camera. We are waking up to 80 in Miami, 79 in Fort Lauderdale, 80 in Key West. Feels like temperatures in the low to mid 80s and highs will climb to right around 89, 90 degrees this afternoon as we take a look at the forecast models around 1, 2 p.m. Some storms will develop over the western suburbs that could then push back eastward across the metro areas this evening and your Wednesday is actually looking wet in the afternoon. We'll see likely some more widespread storms around 4 or 5 p.m. that could linger through the evening commute as well as even through your dinner time tomorrow. Hurricane Fiona is a major category three, the first one of the season moving north northwest at 10 miles per hour forecast to become a cap four eventually lifting northeastward in the general direction of Bermuda and it is still pounding uh, right now. Turks and Caicos, parts of Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. We are seeing hurricane warnings for Turks and Caicos, Southeast Bahamas under a tropical storm warning. So tomorrow rain chance high the first day of fall Thursday as we head into your Friday and the weekend the rain chance will be lower with just spotty storms.